In this video, we're going to be using Python's turtle module to create ourselves the flag for the Olympic Games. So as you can see, um, what we need to do is we need to draw five colored rings and have them overlapping one another. So it'll look a bit like this when we're done. The only thing that's going to look a little bit different is this interlocking effect that the rings have here. Uh, we won't be able to get that perfect with Python's code, but we're going to get pretty close. So let's head over to Mew and get started today by making ourselves a new file. And as always, we're just going to write from turtle import star, which is importing all the functions from the turtle module, giving us access to them all. We're going to set our speed that we draw at today to zero, so that's the quickest speed the turtle will draw at. And the setup of our page will be 800 by 500 pixels, so 800 pixels width, 500 pixels in height. Uh, the pen size we're going to work with today, this is going to be the thickness of our rings. It's up to you, it's a personal choice, but I think anywhere between 10 and 15 looks good, so I'll just go about halfway, so I'll choose 12. Um, and we're ready to start drawing the rings now, so I'm going to start with, if we just have a look back here, I'm going to start with that center ring, the black one. Okay, so I'll put in a comment here that says black ring, and we'll set our pen color to black. And then we're going to draw a circle with a radius whoops, of 80 pixels and that should be enough to get a black circle drawn. So I'm going to save this up. Let's call it Olympic flag. Let's give it a test run to make sure we've got that circle being drawn. Okay, that looks pretty good. Probably a little bit high for my liking, so if you want to you could always um, move its coordinates down a little bit on the page, but I won't bother. I think where it is is close enough to being fine. Uh, the next ring we're going to draw is the blue ring. Okay, so if you have a look back here at the picture, it's the one on the far left. Okay, so we're going to take our pen up off the page now, and we're going to go to some new coordinates. We're going to go 200 pixels to the left, but stay on the same axis um, as what the black one was drawn at. Once we're in position, we will put our pen down, and then we can change our pen color. I'm just going to type blue for this. Um, as you can see here, it's kind of a lightish blue in this picture. You've got a, uh, I guess, a darker blue in this picture. It's up to you what blue you choose. There's a whole different um, shades of blue that you can use in Python. Um, I'm not too fussy for this tutorial, so I'm just going to set it to the default blue. Once you've set your color, just draw a circle. That's obviously the same size as the black one, which is 80 pixels with radius. Okay, that should get our blue ring drawn in its position. So if we save it and run it, you can see we've got our blue ring being drawn over there. That looks good. Okay, I'll just press enter a bit here. We'll go down a bit. Next ring we're going to draw is the red one. Okay, it's over the other side on the far right hand side. So let's put in a comment that says red ring. We'll bring our pen up off the page. Oops, bring our pen up off the page on the next line. And we will go to 200 pixels across the other side. And still saying, staying zero for the y-axis. I'll uh, we'll put our pen down once we are in position. And we'll change our pen color to red. And we'll draw our circle of 80 pixel radius. Save it and test it. And we should have our third ring running across the top now. So the blue black and red rings are all in. Now we've just got the two bottom rings, the yellow and the green to go. Okay, they're done in a fairly similar way. So what I'm going to do is cheat a little bit. I'm going to copy and paste the red ring code. And I'm going to make this one the yellow ring. So I'll just rename the comment to yellow ring. Now the coordinates we want to go to, pretty easy, minus 100, minus 100. Put the pen down on the page. The pen color is obviously going to be changed to yellow, so it's not red anymore. The circle size will stay the same. Give that a run. We've got our yellow one in position. And we've just got one more to go, so we'll copy that code. Paste it in down below, and it's the green ring this time. So we're going to just reword a few things here. The coordinates we want to go to now are 100 and minus 100. So you don't have to change much there. Pen goes back down, pen color will be set to green, and the circle will be drawn with a radius of 80 pixels. Save it up, run it, and we should have our Olympic flag all drawn.